What's going on guys, Ian77 here. In today's video, we're going to be using viewer submitted hog decks to find the best hog deck in Clash Royale. And at the end of each match, I'm going to be giving them a rating as well. So, hopping in the first match here, we're going to be using a hog freeze deck, which is uh, pretty similar to hog EQ. The only real difference is that it does have a little bit better defense and it does have freeze, of course, instead of earthquake. And also a really good log there on the musketeer prevented our firecracker from activating his king tower. So, really nice right there. And... Looks like this guy's gonna have Mega Knight right here, so Mega Knight is pretty good against Hog normally, but ever since the Mega Knight got like that Enter the Arena ability nerf, I feel like it's a little bit better for a Hog Rider now, because you can just easily like Hog whenever you want, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get a hit even if they Mega Knight, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I think we should be able to activate our King Tower right here, and yeah, just gonna go with the High Firecracker here to kind of pull the mini pack across the arena. Um, I think if we went with a Royal Delivery on the mini pack, it wouldn't have been enough, so... Yeah, really good defense right there, and he doesn't even know we have freeze yet, so we can always pull it out when we want, but I'm just going to go with the hog right here at zero elixir, because I know that he doesn't have mini P.E.K.K.A. in cycle, or even like bats or anything, and I know he didn't have enough elixir for a Mega Knight at that point, so um, he's going to defend pretty well, but he does still take one hit, and he does have to spend uh, like six elixir right there to counter our hog rider, and he might still have to respond to this, yeah, looks like he's going to use bats right there, and... Yeah, I think defense should be like pretty easy at this point now that we do have our King Tower activated. So I'm just going to kind of try to focus more on offense, hopefully get like quite a bit of damage because it could start to get a little bit tricky as it gets later in the game, like towards um, late double and triple elixir. So I'm just going to go with a firecracker in the back right here. I know he doesn't have arrows or anything in his deck, so it should be fine right here. And he might like also start like stacking musketeers in the same lane. We can't really kill them because we don't have a, a big spell except like freeze but it doesn't really do damage to those stuff and um we, we are going to pull out the freeze there it is going to give us one nice hog hit right there i was kind of hoping for two but he didn't he did end up playing the mega knight but it's still fine for us right here just gonna block his mega knight with an ice golem and um i think wall breakers might connect on our tussle but just gonna kind of log it back just to stall it for like a second right there and i'm gonna go with the hog as well just to make sure that the mega knight kind of walks back a bit and doesn't do anything and I'm not going to go for like a freeze here. I don't want to be too aggressive on my freezes. I do like to be just a little bit aggressive with this deck because you do have really good defense, but you also have to be a little bit cautious with going with like over aggressive freezes. I'm, I'm pretty sure like pretty much everyone always talks about it or all the YouTubers do that you can't really be too aggressive with your freezes. And uh, I feel like the same is true for this deck as well. And I'm just gonna go with, I'm just going to go with an ice golem plus hog right here. It's going to kill the bats and we'll soak up one mini P.E.K.K.A. shot and since he has like so many troops there, I'm just going to go with the Hog Freeze and that will be a good game. So I'm going to give this deck a solid 7 out of 10. Alright, hopping in the next match here, we're going to be using Hog Lightning, which um, is pretty good I feel like. Uh, Hog Lightning is definitely more meta than Hog Freeze is at this point, so should be a pretty nice deck right here. I'm not really sure what this guy's playing, who we're up against right here, but he does have Arrows, Mega Minion, Bomber, so it could probably be a Golem deck right here, not really too sure. What else would be running that maybe like a strange lava deck or something like that but yeah it should be pretty good for us right here we do have inferno tower to like melt any tank so this deck is going to be going to be really solid against like really any beat down deck you face and honestly it should be pretty good against other cycle decks as well because you do have lightning to like kill teslas and inferno towers and cannons and all of that stuff even though it is a little bit expensive so it's not quite as good as earthquake against those things but still gets the job done and it's kind of quite nice to have lightning against like archer queens and all of that stuff and looks like he's gonna have golem right here he's gonna go with the golem in the back i can't really pressure too much right here because um we didn't really have the hog rider ready in cycle right there so i think i'm just gonna sit back and try to defend right here and seeing that he had arrows plus zap i'm pretty sure he has no lightning in his deck so it should be pretty hard for him to break through our inferno towers um and luckily our inferno tower actually targeted his golem right there i was kind of expecting it to hit a bat instead but ended up hitting the right thing and Ice Golem is going to pop at the perfect time right there to negate all of the Night Witch bats and uh, his E-Barbs could be a little bit of a concern right here. I think we can get an Ice Golem down in time before they like do too much damage. Oh yeah, actually perfect defense right there and Dark Golem just putting in the work. It can get like so much value in matchups where they don't have like a like a log or something like that and even when you're facing a deck with log you can kind of just like Dark Goblin a little bit farther back to where they can't actually log your dark goblin until it walks up so you can still get quite a bit of value again or with it and um it is really good against like stuff like gravy or i love that so i'm just gonna go with the hog rider right here he's gonna go with the mini pekka um he does go with it pretty quickly there so we, we don't get, actually get any hit on his tower but i'm still 
pretty happy with this spot. I'm kind of just chilling. I don't really need to be too aggressive or anything like that. We have a pretty fair, fair damage lead at this point, and and yeah, I'm just gonna go with the Hall Rider right here because I don't really want him to build up a big Golem Knight which push. So um, since he had to use the E barbs there, I don't think he will be able to. And the Lightning is also gonna kill like the majority of the E barbs. So they should just die mostly to the tower, maybe with like the help of some skeletons right there. And just gonna go with a Fire Spirit at the river as well. Also a Hall Rider just to make sure that um, he has to kind of spend some of his cards in front of his golem push so now his mini P.E.K.K.A won't really be supporting his golem anymore so should be pretty nice for us right here. I'm already back from the Dark Goblin if we need it. I'm just gonna go with the Inferno Tower first and I'm gonna go with Dark Goblin now. I'm, I'm kind of just gonna like bring these E-Barbs towards the middle just to make sure that we can kind of kite it all around because it is gonna be a little bit hard to kill the E-Barbs. We don't have like too much too much like just upfront DPS except like the, the Inferno Tower and I guess the Dark Goblin is also pretty good but yeah, just gonna kind of lure it around and also it was a really good snowball right there on his mini P.E.K.K.A. The really nice thing about having snowball in this deck is that even though it doesn't have like the pushback uh, of a log to like be able to push like heavy units like golems and stuff like that, it still is super nice to sometimes just get like really, really lucky hog hits like when you push a mini P.E.K.K.A. away, you, like you can really allow your hog to get a lot more hits sometimes when you're running running hog with snowball and just gonna go with the dark goblin at the river here. I was kind of hoping he'd have a slow reaction time and looks like he did right there so that will be a good game, and I'm going to give this deck a solid 8 out of 10. Alright, in the next match here, we're going to be using a pretty interesting Hog Hunter deck right here. It's pretty similar to like 2.6, except it does have some some heavier cards like the guards in here instead of like skeletons, and you do have Hunter as well, and also Lumberjack in this deck, so I guess it's more of a Hog plus Lumberjack deck, which should be pretty interesting. Um, Hog Lumberjack was actually really strong like probably like 4 years ago at this point, maybe like 3 years ago, not really too sure, but... Yeah, gonna be interesting to try it out right here and this guy does have baby dragon plus tornado so it could be like golem electro giant or graveyard um and he does have skelly king as well so i think this is actually gonna be a graveyard deck right here which is honestly one of the harder matchups for hog rider and yeah he's gonna go for the graveyard right here so they should be pretty difficult right here but the nice thing is that we do have guards in our deck which are gonna be really nice at stopping the graveyards and i'm just gonna let my lumberjack go right here don't really want to support it with a hog because it's already in the in the stronger side tower it's not really worth it to support it even though i feel like hog plus lumberjack is actually quite a strong combo because the raged up hog rider just gets so much value sometimes so should be pretty good here with this deck and we do have like just like pretty good all-around defense we have good air defense good ground defense the only real thing is that it could be hard to break through like these tornadoes and stuff even though we do have good defense it might be a little bit hard on the offensive end so um, yeah, just gonna go with the hunter right here, right on the baby dragon's face. Should be really nice to have the hunter against the baby dragon, and I'm always gonna be pressuring with the fire spirits at the river just to make sure that he can't um, really build up too big of a push, just because like he always has to spend at least something on the fire spirit unless he just wants to take so much damage. So it's always gonna force out something. I'm just gonna go with the hog plus the guards right here, but unfortunately we do have drop glitch on our hog right there. Um, I'm sure you guys probably seen that happen to me a lot recently. Um, I think it's like a, a glitch that that just happens only in Clash Rail for some reason, not really too sure why, but yeah, we are, we are still going to get one hog hit there. He kind of misplaced his tornado, so still looking like pretty okay right here. I think his skeletons will get some lucky RNG shots right there, but I'm just going to go with like a Lumberjack plus hog push right here. Maybe we have log if we need to like log away his tombstone right here. Just going to go with the ball, and I don't really want to want to allow him to defend so cheaply. I'm going to hopefully force out a tornado or we might just get one sh one hog shot on his tower and looks like he's just gonna take this shot right there so so yeah looking pretty good right here it is a little bit sketchy though against graveyard because yeah, he's gonna go for the graveyard poison right there and now he's probably gonna get quite a bit of damage um the only thing is that guards do still die pretty quickly to poison so we don't have the perfect defense but i think we're still doing pretty okay right here let's go with a fireball on the ice wizard there i was kind of predicting a tombstone and we did manage to hit it so really nice right there just gonna pressure with the fire spirit he's probably gonna like go with it, like a skelly king or something like that and yeah it looks like he does go for it so yeah just gonna set up a lumberjack in the back right here just gonna hog in front because i feel like um even though hog lumberjack is quite good i feel like it's not super good in this matchup because even if there's like a raged up hog rider you can still defend it just the same with like a tornado or something like that so it doesn't really matter too much if we let our lumberjack go in front of the hog or not and yeah, just gonna let that baby dragon chip away a bit and kind of just like setting up that pre-placed cannon right there just to hopefully prevent him from going in with the graveyard and kind of allowing us to build up a big push here 
Um, yeah, just gonna set up a Lumberjack, but yeah, I kind of knew we would go with the Graveyard right at that time, so that's why I went with like a Hog in front of the Lumberjack again, even though you do usually kind of prefer to have the Lumberjack tanking for the Hog in. Uh, we are gonna defend pretty well right there. I think something actually got damaged on his tower. It might have been our Hog, might have been our Lumberjack, but yeah, we're in a pretty good spot right here, and Hog is gonna be affected by the range of the previous Lumberjack, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully break through right here. Hog will get one shot, make that two shots, then yeah, that will be a good game. I'll give this deck a 8 out of 10 as well. Alright, hopping in the next match here, we're going to be using this interesting mid ladder menace deck submitted by Arnie. So, just wanted to give you guys his name so you know the guy who caused me so much pain in today's video. And yeah, just going to go with the Hog Rider right here. This guy does have Bomber plus Golden Knight, so probably going to be E Giant. And he does actually somehow mess up his tornado right there, so it doesn't activate his King Tower and can allow us to get a couple of Hog shots right here. So, um,. Yeah, I'm not really too sure how we're going to do against E-Giant. It is really nice to have E-Barbs in the deck. And um, also just have like pretty pretty decent synergy between the cards in this deck. It's not like the best deck ever, but I think you do you have like some some nice things about this deck. Like you have the E-Barbs to deal heavy damage to certain tanks. And you have Mega Knight to kind of kill Swarm stuff. And Skarmie and Witch to, to sort of like just distract the units like Pekka. And I think I'm going to have to go with like a special trick right here. Going with like the Skarmie plus Zap there. And it worked out super well killing the e-giant fully because basically what happens is that when you like zap the e-giant like for the 0.5 seconds that it's stunned it won't actually zap anything back so it allowed our skarmy to do like way more damage to the e-giant than it otherwise would have and i think if we hadn't done that trick we probably would have taken like a thousand damage there or something like that so really nice right here and um not really too sure how we're going to play this match it's going to be pretty difficult i'm just going to go with the hog rider in the back right here just to hopefully force him to like leak a few elixir or something like that before he goes with the tornado but Looks like he will just go with the Golden Knight, and he is going to cannon, so maybe he's just trying to save his tornado for offense or something like that, but um, yeah, not really too sure how I feel about this. Uh, he's going to go with the E-Giant as well, but I think we should be able to defend pretty okay with the E-Barbs. They're going to come down a little bit late, so it is going to probably force us to take, to take a little bit of damage right there, but now we're going to have a pretty strong counter push, and I can just go with the Rage on these E-Barbs, and not really too sure how he's actually going to stop this, but... I, I guess he is going to kind of be saved right there by the double elixir timer hitting right as he was about to get punished heavily, so that's kind of unfortunate right there, but I think I'm just going to go with like a zap right here just to finish off that golden knight and also kind of stun the bomber in tower, and it is going to allow our witch to get like a few shots on his tower right now, and I'm just going to go with the mega knight here, I was kind of predicting that he would go with the e giant right there, and yeah, just go with the hog rider right here, just that he has to like spend a tornado or something instead of like mirroring his e giant, looks like he is still going to decide to mirror his e giant even though I went in with the Hall Rider, so, um, yeah, I guess he's just gonna give us his tower right there, so, even if he does take our tower, he's still gonna lose his, so, shouldn't be too bad for us, but I think we might be able to defend here with, like, a Witch, and, um, he just wastes his Tornado right there, so he has nothing for our Skarmie, I think we can go with, like, that special Skarmie Zap trick again, and, yeah, gonna finish off his E-Giant really easy right there, and honestly, that Skeleton, Skeleton Army plus Zap trick really saved us in this matchup, and I'm gonna have to give this deck a solid negative 7 out of 10. Alright, hopping in the final match of today's video, we're going to be using this really weird Hog Wizard Freeze deck. So, it is a little bit similar to some of the other decks. Like, it does have kind of like elements of all of the decks, I feel like. It has Freeze, it has uh, Inferno Tower, Lumberjack, and all of that stuff. So, just going to go with the Wizard in the back right here. Looks like this guy is playing Tombstone and Inferno Dragon, so it could probably be like a Lava or a Graveyard deck. I'm not really too sure which one, but hopefully it's Lava here, because we do have like really good air responses. We do have Fireball to kill kill air support troops we have wizard to splash stuff down and do have inferno tower as well but it looks like he will go with zappies right here so i guess it's going to be a graveyard deck and could be a little bit interesting right here we don't have too many great graveyard responses because we don't have like a poison or anything in this deck but i feel like golden knight should be pretty good against the graveyard and he's going to go with the graveyard right here but i think golden knight should do work against graveyard just like having such a quick hit speed it is going to defend pretty well right there um and yeah not really too sure how this match is going to go, but I think this deck is pretty solid. It's a little bit awkward in cycle having like three spells in it, but I think we should be able to do okay. Just going to use the Golden Knight dash here to hopefully kill the Tombstone, and somehow the Golden Knight actually just dashed through that giant skeleton, and Inferno Tower should be really good on defense, even though he does have Zappies. I don't really think he has any other reset, so if we just like block his Zappies, we should always be able to stop his, his giant skeletons pretty easily, and um, 
Yeah, I could see Golden Knight also being really good in this matchup, because if we get lucky with, like, his Tombstones or something, like, or, like, Zappies, we could kind of get our Golden Knight to, like, chain off of his Tombstone to his tower, or, like, off of his Zappies to his tower. And I think I'm going to go with the Freeze right here, because he does also give us the value with the Skeleton King right there. And as I talked about in the first match, like, whenever you're running a Freeze deck, you kind of always want to be pretty aggressive early on, or not always, but especially with like hog freeze decks like this with pretty good defense you want to be a little bit aggressive early on because later on in the game it is probably going to be pretty hard to get like a good freeze off so it's always better to be a little bit more on the aggressive side when you know you can get away with it and yeah just like that we have a really good lead at this point and i'm just gonna go with a fireball and his inferno dragon don't really want to go with the golden knight on it because i kind of just want to save my golden knight for his graveyard and he's gonna go with the tombstone here against our hog and also zappies but i think the hog might still get a shot on his tower um, yeah, Hulk still will get one shot, and I think Inferno Tower should just melt this giant skeleton really easily, and his graveyard shouldn't do too much damage with our Golden Knight defending, we can also use our ability when we need to, but I don't even think we need it right here, and, and yeah, Inferno Tower is just doing work right here, we're also going to kill the Skelly King, and we can just log away the rest of the skeletons right there, so in a really good spot right now, just have to be, be a little bit careful that he doesn't get like too, too big of a graveyard push, but I think I think our um, Inferno Tower should probably be able to shut down most of this. Um, hopefully it also kills the Inferno Dragon. And yeah, now we're just going to kind of reset just a little bit. But I think Inferno Tower should distract the Inferno Dragon for long enough to where the tower should be able to finish off most of it. But um, yeah, it doesn't kill all of it. But I think the wizard should clean up the rest of the stuff. And also going to go towards the left lane. So it should help out against the Skelly King. And also helping out against the graveyard right here. So... Yeah, looking pretty good. I'm just going to go with the freeze on this Inferno Dragon. No reason not to. It's going to force him to use the Tombstone as well. And I will still get one shot on his tower even when he spent the arrows there as well. So um, just going to like one more hog hit on his tower plus a fireball or maybe like two fireballs. But I can't really cycle a fireball right now. And I can't even go with an Inferno Tower on his on his um, giant skeleton. Kind of have to be a little bit more careful right here. And I think Hog will take the game here probably. Uh, and yeah, I'll give this deck a solid 6 out of 10. My personal favorite deck of today's video is going to be the fourth deck, the Midladder Menace. So thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!